What should you expect from your Customer Advisory Board program? Now, this is a really good question. Let me tell you what your Customer Advisory Board is not. It is not a single meeting. In fact, if you're viewing it as a meeting that you just want to check off of your to-do list, you're missing the entire point. So let's back up and let's talk about what are the expectations you want to have for your Customer Advisory Board. Oftentimes, when I first meet with the CEO and his or her staff, the question that I ask is, what does success look like? What do you want to achieve? What is your objective? What do you want to learn? And what are you prepared to do with the information that you gather? Now, those are really important questions that are worth taking some time to think through. With that as background, there are four specific outcomes you should expect from investing in a Customer Advisory Board program. Number one, you want to use your cab to capture value and guidance from your best customers. The magic word in Customer Advisory Board is the word advisory. You're here to seek advice from your customers. This is directional input and guidance to validate where you're going or where you think your company is going to go or to challenge your assumptions or maybe give you some brand new things to think about that you didn't know about your customers. Hence, one of the outcomes is you want to discover something that you didn't know before and you want to capture this value and guidance that will be impactful and align, help your company uh, align your leadership team, with, which leads to point number two, to drive strategy and align your vision to your strategic product roadmap. Now that alignment is not just at a strategic on paper base, it's also cross-functional. Use your advisory board to make sure that all of the department heads, marketing, sales, engineering, customer support, manufacturing, customer success, all are aligned and pointing in the same direction. Oftentimes there's lots of debate and debate can be healthy within a company to kind of test and valley and uh, validate and fine tune directionally where your company is going. And that is the perfect opportunity to gather some direction and valuable insights from your customers. And as you do, use that information to engage in thoughtful, cross-functional conversations, the outcome of which should be alignment and encouragement across your entire leadership base that you're all pointing in the right direction. Um, and so use your advisory board as a tool to drive that alignment. That's point number two. All right, point number three is use your cab to identify new business opportunities. The more you learn about your customers and how their business is changing, the more likely it's going to be that you're going to discover something that you didn't know that will open the door to a brand new re revenue stream you did not know before. Point number four is to discover synergies between you and your customers. Now, this is where the nature of relationship management comes into place. And yes, the output of the cab is to strengthen those relationships you have between your executive leaders and the executive leaders, the senior decision makers of a dozen of your most strategic best customers. Now, having in, or incorporating uh, relationship elements into your advisory board program Commonly, that's a network reception and dinner the night before the meeting. Throughout the year, there will be other additional touch points that you use to spark that relationship. You may even have a special outing with them that I might term a customer appreciation event at your user conference, something that's unique and special just for cab members. All those elements are true. Relationship management is really important. However, never get confused that the reason why your customers come to your advisory board is to help you get real work done. They want to talk about issues of strategic importance for them. They want to look for your company to help them solve those problems. And the fact that you bring them to this venue to talk about those things is the number one value that they're going to take away. So you don't want to shortchange that in favor of doing a 
extra glamorous, glitzy customer appreciation event. Don't confuse the two together, although there is a role for both that to play. At the end of the day, you want customers to feel like their time was well spent. You want the customers to feel that you actually listened to what they had to say. And ultimately, it's listening and the sincerity of that listening will help strengthen the relationship. In summary, the four key takeaways you should expect from your customer advisory board are capture value and guidance from your best customers, to drive strategy and align your vision, to identify new business opportunities, and to discover synergies between you and your customers. Those are the proper expectations for setting for your CAB program.